What's really sad about this pond is it's full of gambusia, it's full of um, mosquito fish. Right, they're a live bearer introduced to Australia. They put them, you know, in all the sort of brackish water systems. <clears throat> and they're really aggressive fish. Wherever you find gambusia, you won't find a diversity of, of anything else. You'll just find them. Yeah. You know, they eat frogs, they eat frogs' eggs, you know. And it's sad because a fish like that, because they're so hardy and because they span environments, you can never get rid of them. So every yeah. time that they pump this out, there's always going to be one or two of them left somewhere in here. And if there's not, they're going to come from the salt water one time. Or they're going to yeah. come from some polluted bit of water that they've only just been able to survive in and they'll just repopulate. Because they're live bearers, they're, they're, the eggs hatch in their sort of, in the, the mother. So when they come out, they're live straight away. So it's a very efficient way of, you know, populating somewhere uh, very quickly. But um, that's beautiful nonetheless. You can see like the, the cormorants in there. Another thing that's in here are um, slider turtles from America. People have, have you know, their sliders have got too big at home. They're a, a pest species now and they've just chucked them in here. And they slider, this thing's lived for like 50 years. So there'd probably be slider turtles in here that would be in excess of 50 years old, which is, you know, it's interesting, but we'll keep, come around this way.